regarding factorite and hemophilia we have few points about factorite and hemophilia introduction this factor is also called as anti hemophilic factors it is said that though the normal concentration is around 100 percent even levels more than 25 percent is enough for the hemostasis and unique feature of this factor is it is synthesized both by the liver as well as the endothelial cells and the hemophilia usually have values less than 5 percent of the total activity and based upon the residual activity of the factor 8 the hemophilia are classified into mild moderate and severe severe hemophilia have less than 1 percent of the factor 8 and moderate have 1 to 5 percentage and mild have 5 to 30 percentage factor which is synthesized by the endothelial cells is bound by the von Willebrand factor it is this binding that prolongs the half life of the factor 8 to 8 hours 8 to 12 hours 8 and 8 remember and the definition of factor 8 is called as hemophilia A and this is X-linked recessive though there is another condition that is called as autosomal dominant hemophilia which will be detailed in the next video and the males are clinically affected women are just carriers the most common mutation is the inversion of the intron 22 few things we have to mug up and one such thing is the inversion of intron 22 clinical features mostly present with excess amount of bleeding following trauma and the bleed in certain spaces like the oropharyngeal faces central nervous system and retroperitoneum are life threatening sometimes the retroperitoneal bleed may organize into a clot and form a pseudo tumor compressing the neurovascular bundle management the minimum requirement is the factor should be maintained at a value more than one percentage you have to give prophylaxis because rather than treating the bleed prophylaxis is the main target but the only limiting factor is the cost it is said that one unit per kg of factor eight raises the serum level by two percentage remember one and two one unit per kg raises it by two unit and cryo precipitate one unit has 80 units of factor eight. this was one of the previous question asked for mild cases of bleeding, you have to maintain a target of 35 to 50 percentage and for the CNS, retropharyngeal and oropharyngeal, maintain a target value of 50 to 100 percent of the factor 8 and for surgery, you have to maintain 100 percent factor 8 for minimum 7 to 10 days. The other modalities of treatment that can be tried are the BDAEP, desmopressin, because this desmopressin when given by the inhalational route can release the uh, factor 8 stored in the endothelium. It is given a dose of point, you need not remember the dose and all, 0.3 max per kg, it increases the value of factor by 3 times. Only problem is the tachyphylaxis. Repeated use of this desmopressin will result in diminished response because the stores will be depleted. And this cannot be used in severe cases because in severe cases, there is no production of the factor itself. Hence, desmopressin will have no effect on the bleed. Antifibrinolytic agents. The following antifibrinolytic agents can be used. One is epilonamino caparic acid and tranexamic acid. But you have to avoid this in case of urinary tract infection because this, these are antifibrinolytic and will not allow the clot to dissolve. Therefore, the clot when it is in the urinary tract can cause obstruction. Inhibitors is another problem of giving factor rate because factor rate is an antigen. An antigen is continuously given to a patient, this patient can develop antibodies and these antibodies are called as inhibitors. When to suspect inhibitors? When the bleeding does not control even with the routine dose of factor 8. Suppose the patient may be taking for example 1000 units during each bleed and if the 1000 unit does not control the bleed at a particular event, you have to think for inhibitors. In that case, you have to perform a mixed test that is mix the patient's plasma with normal plasma and see whether the APTT prolongs or not. One Bethesda unit, the inhibitors is measured in a Bethesda unit. One Bethesda unit is the amount of inhibitor that neutralizes 50% of factor 8. And based upon the level of uh, inhibitors, they are termed as low responders and high responders. Low responders have less than 5 Bethesda units. In this patient, you can give high doses of factor 8, that is 50 to 100 units per kg. For high responders, that is more than 5 Bethesda units, prothrombin complex concentrates and recombinant factor 7 can be given. This acts as bypass agents. 